welcome to The Front Porch, where we're shooting the breeze podcast style with Savannah's top thinkers and biggest barrier breakers, the quintessentially quirky and the perpetually hip. Hello, my name is Dee Ray. I'm with the Creative Coast, and we're here at The Front Porch, chatting it up podcast style with David Sawyer and Samantha Zarek. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Oh, we're yeah. delighted to have you. Tell me about TSO Life. TSO Life is an online platform for starting for restoring your life history. Uh, we got the idea when my grandmother passed about a year and a half ago. I was at her funeral listening to many stories for her life and realized that my grandkids wouldn't get to hear these same stories. Verbal history dies to only two generations. The need to fill that legacy gap in not only the lives of the elderly, but also the lives of the generations yet to come was the primary motivation behind founding this company. TSO Life allows you to leave a personal legacy exactly the way you want it to be left. You can write your own stories, tell your own stories, record yourself telling these own stories, and so it's exactly the way you want to be remembered. And so what got you motivated, Samantha, to get involved? Well, uh, David's actually a good friend, and um, he you know, works, has been working on it real hard, and just seeing how hard he's been working on it, and the progress, and how heartfelt it really is, just, I fell in love with the concept, and I really wanted to do everything I could to help out. Who are your, some of your early adopters? The primary early adopters, we recently went to a conference, the FHCA, where we're working with assisted living facilities, long-term care, and we're going in there. We actually did a really neat thing to pilot this program. We actually interviewed World War II veterans and took down their lives for free. And we saw some amazing, amazing stories. We had two veterans who were in the same war. One of their ships sank, and the other one's veterans was the one helping them on the ship. No way. They had no idea, they never met, and we brought them together and shared that, and it was just a mind-blowing experience. So when we were beta testing this, we were experiencing these, where the feedbacks we were getting was so connecting and so enriching that it was just in such a good way to feel, and it was just such a really good feeling as an entrepreneur to create something that people loved, which is what we all try to do at the end of the day. Sure. And so what are you, are you offering sort of a technical platform or consulting or talk yep. to me about the process? So we built an online platform. We uh, raised $80,000 in seed funding and coded up. We uh, have some very talented kids. We're all college students. So we went over to our computer science program and said, hey, come on, we got some neat stuff we want you to work on. And Good we pretty much you. locked them in a room for a few days, for a few months. And they came out with this platform at www.tsolife.com. TSOLife.com. Got yep. it. The story of life is what it would stand for. And it's an online platform. You can store photos, videos, audio files, stories. And we have all these different neat things as being connected with Google Maps, family trees. And there's another feature that Sam just loves talking about. Oh, my about, favorite. So. It's called the Wish I Was There feature. And it actually allows you to go in and write a personal message or, again, record a video, audio file, add photos for say a great grandchild that you may never get to make that connection with, that you may never get to meet. And you can actually set a date for that message to be delivered. So a graduation or a wedding day, you can be there. Even though you may not be able to physically be there, you will be there. That is so special. So what's the long-term impact of TSO Life? What, how are people's lives touched five, 10, even 50 years from now? Well, what we're dreaming of is when I go in there and I look up my grandmother, all I can find is the funeral service page. That's all that's going to transcend her life is just that small little paragraph. And so the main impact that we're trying to have is allowing kids that aren't even born yet to be able to go one day in the future, Google someone's name, and just find their entire life, how they want it to be remembered, and have that connection. No stories that are being lost and forgotten, and have that impact in the future. So two things that I want to share. Uh, one is I was at a forum, the Aspen um, Action Forum, and one of the moderators just mentioned to me, hey, I have a secret for life for you. And I said, okay. And he said, when I ask people, tell me your story, I found that I asked, tell me your story starting with your grandparents. And it was really interesting. He said that changed their whole um, countenance of being open to education, to being a little more humble, to being respectful, and um, you're tapping into that same heartstring, wouldn't you think, in a sense of, you can't do it if you don't know the grandparent story. So I thought that was something, and then I've also read recently that a key, one of the top five key indicators for children's happiness 
is knowing their heritage. And I thought, wow, that's so excited. I was so excited to talk with you today to tap into that idea. What, what do you think of those two things? Well, I mean, that's really rewarding. I mean, I didn't know that stat about it being traced to heritage was a big major feature of it. I mean, we did recognize we're doing actually research right the second into nursing and depression, which is currently a massive issue in our society. One in two people in a long-term care facility are currently clinically depressed, not just feeling sad every once in a while, but clinically depressed. And so we're going in there as part of remembrance programs and actually showing that this is going to transcend your life. And the research has been very, very promising so far. So, so treating, basically, uh, you're not going there and only talking to those 50% of the people, but what you're doing is offering something great, particularly to minimize that number. Correct. Right. We're, we're setting up these programs where these facilities will offer it to their residents, allow them to take down their life, sit down with volunteers. There's so many great volunteers out there. They're doing such good work, and we're just giving them another tool in their kit to connect with these residents and really build a more lasting legacy for them to leave behind. So how does the revenue model work for you? Revenue model is we are a one-time fee. Unlike Facebook, we're not selling stuff off. We're not marketing anything. It's an ad-free site. And also, unlike Answerstar Congressman, we are a one-time fee, not a subscription model. So you pay for your information. It's very similar to how gravestones are set, where you'll buy a plot in a cemetery, and then that one-time fee is enough to cover the costs forever. And we're the exact same model based on that. So for one time fee of $79, you can have your own life transcend history. And how hard was it as an entrepreneur to choose $79 as the price point? <laughs> I've been working on this company for about a year and a half now. I'd say I'm working on the price model for about a year and two months. Okay. So it's been a long journey. But, you're, but you finally figured we, it out? We finally or feel you, comfortable yeah. with it. We feel comfortable. We want to find a price point that everyone could you know, afford to feel comfortable with and then also allow us to be able to offer that one time fee and not have to come back ever and make sure we can cover our bases going forward. So you started this almost two years ago and I assume you've had some challenges along the way. Yes. Talk to me about this. Well, where to start? Uh, I mean, as every entrepreneur knows, there's just so many things you can't account for. You know, we try to read as much, you try to do as much schooling and just there's no clear path on where to go, and everyone can offer you great advice, but really an entrepreneur has to find their own way. One of the major issues I had is actually at the beginning of developing the site, I outsourced it to a company to wow. have the development done, and that went horribly wrong. I had to you know, cut the contract to bring them in-house and have students work on it better, and that was just the biggest issue I ever did, is never outsource me your core functionality. Sure. Always hire people in-house and get them involved in investing in the project. Because at the end of the day, an outsourced company isn't going to have that same emotional, emotional involvement and not going to have the same pride of work. So you have to have people on your team who love what you're doing, believe in the vision, and want to actually see it succeed and not just be collecting a paycheck. And how do you, what's the litmus test for that? Well, one question that I often ask people is to use the site prior to I ever hire them. And I ask them, what about this are you connecting with? What do you like? And then with Sam specifically, I talked to her about and just you know, all emotional about the functionality of wish I was there and what it can do for her family. And whenever I hear an employee or just anyone talk about what it means to them, that's why I really get that connection that they're in it because they believe in the vision, not just a paycheck. And Sam, when you answered that question or now, is there a particular family member that comes to mind? Um, really, I sort of looked at it from the viewpoint of myself and you know, I imagined myself as a great grandmother one day and say, you know, my great granddaughter is having a child, or my granddaughter is having a child that would be my great granddaughter. And, you know, I just imagined this whole little scene of seeing this ultrasound and, you know, knowing deep inside that I'm not going to be around for this child's life. And, but what I could do is I can make a video of myself holding this ultrasound and making this connection now with this great grandchild and showing them that I care and expressing to them things about my life and my character and our family values that I want them to take on and cherish forever. Oh, that's so powerful. Wow. Well, Sam and David, it's just delightful to learn more about TSO Life. I'm so excited about the work you do and thanks so much for sharing it. Thank you so much. Of course.